All right, let's take a look at the steps. So the first one is to recognize your quadratic type. And use u substitution. Okay, so here is our highest power double our other power? Is two thirds double one third? Yeah. So what we can do is we can let uh, our u equal the smaller of the two, x to the one third. Therefore, u squared is going to be u to the two thirds. Okay, and so we can now make that substitution. We get u squared plus 10u is equal to negative 25. And again, we solve the resulting equation. Okay, so when we solve for u here, we can rewrite it in this quadratic form, add 25 to both sides. Are there two factors of 25 whose sum is 10? Five. So it's a binomial square, right? So we can use u plus 5, quantity squared. We can now extract our square root. When we extract the square root, we take into consideration the positive and negative root. Plus or minus 0 is just 0. Solve for u, subtract 5 from both sides. So our answer is u equals negative 5. Once we get our value for u, we plug in that original expression. And we solve for x. So here we see that our u was x to the 1 third. And when we solve this, it is now a rational power. So we undo it by taking both sides to the reciprocal power, 3 over 1. The 1 third and the 3 cancel, leaving just x to the first. Negative 5 cubed gives you negative 125. And once again, it's a requirement to check your solutions, to look for extraneous solutions. So when we plug this in, uh, again, when we take something to the power of 2 thirds, you can either square it or cube root first. So if we take negative 125 and cube root, we get negative 5. Negative 5 squared is 25. We're going to add that to, uh, again, the cube root of negative 125 is negative 5 times 10 is negative 50 and we're checking to see is that equal to negative 25 and we see that yes it is so that solution checks and that is our answer <coughs>